Hey guys, uh, welcome to the identity and access management uh, tutorial. So in this section, we'll talk about uh, some Keycloak basics. So Keycloak is a very uh, popular open source tool to implement identity and access management. And I have divided this lecture into two parts. So this is the first part where we'll be talking about Keycloak basics. And in the second part, we'll try to implement Keycloak on some application. So let's start. So what is Keycloak? Keycloak is an open source identity and access management solution targeted toward modern application and services. It offers uh, various features such as single sign-on, identity brokering and social login, user federation, client adapters, admin console, and et cetera. So in order to use Keycloak, uh, you will have to download it, then like you will have to run it on your local machine. So by default, it runs on localhost 8080. So uh, let me quickly walk you through with the downloading process. So to download Keycloak, you have to go to this website, keycloak.org, download.html. And as I am using Windows machine, so I'll be using this zip file. Yeah. To save time, I have already downloaded Keycloak. So let me quickly show you. Yeah. So this is the Keycloak version that I'm using 12.0.1. And to start the Keycloak, you just have to go inside the bin folder and double click on standalone.bat file. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, it is already running on my machine. So let me close it. Yeah, so just double click on this. So now Keycloak server is starting. And you can access by default, like it runs on localhost 8080 port. So you can access it. So yeah, this is the login page. This is the basic page. So the first thing you'll have to do is create a user. So I have already created a user. So uh, let me log in using that user. So we are inside the Keycloak and you can see various realms that we created in the past. So the first thing that we need to create in Keycloak is the realm. And after that, you, you would need a client, some users and roles. And at last, we'll have to, we'll generate access token so that we can connect it using uh, some external application. So let us create a test realm. So we are now inside the test realm that we created just now. Now let's create a new client. We can create a role also. So let me create that test role. So now that we uh, have created a new realm, within that realm, we created a client role. Now we'll create a user also. So we'll name this user as test user. And we can map this user to the role that we created earlier. Yeah. So this is uh, some of the basic functionality of Keycloak. And Keycloak has various attributes that we, uh, we use when we like try to connect with some external application. So uh, we have realm settings, we have clients and all. So we'll be uh, using some of these attributes in the second part of this lecture where we'll be creating a sample application and we'll try to implement SSO. So these are some of the basics uh, that we can uh, play with uh, Keycloak. Now, the next thing is to generate access token using Keycloak API. So to generate access token, you'll have to go to this URL and you would need username, password, grant type, and client ID. So user username and password would be safe for uh, like, uh, uh, as per your user, you will have to change these fields. And if you 
click on send so you get this access token so this access token is required uh, when you are trying to integrate keycloak with uh, application with your application so we'll uh, discuss about it how it can be used and all in the next uh, chapter so i am uh, sharing few important links that you can uh, read and uh, to have some better idea about keycloak and in the next slide uh, we'll see keycloak in action for example we'll be uh, create a sample application uh, uh, i hope it will be an angular application and we'll try to implement sso so guys uh, that's all we have in this uh, tutorial i hope after watching this video you have uh, some basic understanding of keycloak and uh, if you have any uh, feedback or suggestion you can uh, leave a comment below thank you guys